Good morning, friends. It's 11.30 a.m. I've been up since about seven, trying to do as many chores as I can before I head to work so I can lounge this weekend. I'm all about lounging on my days off. So yeah, every Saturday, I clean out the fridge and I do take out the trashes and uh, it gives me an opportunity to see what I need, what I don't need, all of that good stuff. So I had some leftovers. So this would be a perfect opportunity to use some of those leftovers up and make a, um, like a Tex-Mex casserole, I guess. I don't really know what else to call it. So I had some leftover cornbread and I've just taken it and crumbled it up. And what I didn't need, I gave to the birds. But I think the fat beagle found it. You see my fat beagle, Lola? We, we call we shouldn't call her that. We shouldn't body shame her. She's a lot thinner than what she used to be. She was a rescue. One of our customers who was in his 90s couldn't take care of her any longer and asked us to take her. So we took her and um, she didn't have an opportunity to run like she does now. Here where we live, our property here at the house, we have seven acres. So she's able to run freely and she's lost quite a bit of weight getting out there and jogging, chasing those rabbits. So um, I shouldn't body shame her. We love her. She's snoring. You can pray here. She needs a CPAP machine. She, she needs all kinds of stuff. But anyway, we love her. So I've got this leftover cornbread and I just chunked it up. You can just grab you a box of Jiffy and make you a quick pan of it. To this, I'm gonna add some enchilada sauce. This is the red. I'm just gonna add that over that cornbread. Just so that cornbread's not so dry, okay? Now also I had um, some leftover pinto beans I cooked. That's why I had, I had beans and cornbread. So to this enchilada sauce, I'm gonna add just a little bit of salsa, just to have a little bit of chunkiness. Like me. A little bit of chunkiness in there. A little bit of salsa. Forgot to grab a spoon for the salsa, so I'm just gonna put it in. You can leave out just whatever you wanna do. It's your food, that's the great thing about a recipe. You can add and amend however you want. So there we've got that mixture. I've got a little bit of chopped onion here. I'm just going to add, whenever I chop an onion for a recipe, I go ahead and chop the whole thing. Keep it in a Tupperware container in the fridge. So that way I can pull it out. I have eaten more chopped onions since I had COVID. I had COVID last year. And um, I don't smell as well. I like spicier stuff. So I eat, I eat a lot more onions now than I ever did. Okay, so it's chopped onions. Now I've got these leftover pinto beans. Ooh wee. So you could just add a can of pinto beans, black beans, no beans, whatever you like. Speaking of um, changing up a recipe, my aunt texted me this morning and she made my peanut butter pie, but she put hers in the chocolate crust with, uh, cause my uncle likes peanut butter and chocolate together and that sounded so good. I thought, I'm gonna try that next time. A chocolate crust, and then she put chocolate shavings on top of that cool whip. Ooh, way. Sounds delicious, Aunt Carla. Okay, so here we go. There's our beans on top. So we've got the cornbread, the enchilada sauce, a little bit of salsa. And then next, because, uh, you know, I just like sour cream. And I found some in the fridge. I have a whole container that I've never opened, and this was open. I'm just gonna use the same spoon because I'm just gonna use all the sour cream. So there's no cross contamination. Don't be right me and saying, ooh wee, you're gonna poison yourself. No, see, I'm gonna use it all. I've learned a few things in the food safety department after 17 years of food service. Okay, sour cream. Bye bye sour cream. Use it up at home, I left there. So Mason was home, um, but he's on a strict stricter diet during baseball season so he didn't wipe out all my all my uh, leftovers he ate my grilled chicken i cooked on the flat top that seasoning was really good by the way okay so now i've got some hamburger that i uh, fried up this morning i had two pounds i'm only doing a pound i divided it i uh, gonna freeze the other pound i cooked it i'm gonna freeze it for a recipe later on in the week so this uh, after I divided it, I put uh, taco seasoning on the ground beef. Some water, you know how it works. I guess I put my taco seasoning away. It's just taco seasoning. 
taco meat. We're gonna do that next. That layer there. And then we're gonna come in last but not least with some chives. There you have it. Now I've been trying, trying, trying to cook smaller batches for Brock and I. So this isn't too big of a pan. We'll have this for lunch right before we go to work or I'll just take it to work and have it there. Maybe I'll share with the co-workers. You know, I'll just see how hungry I am. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this into a 375 degree oven. Everything's cooked. You just want everything to uh, get together, hang out, get to know each other, all that good stuff. Listen, I wanna tell you a quick story before I go. So I, I'm over here doing my dishes and minding my own business yesterday. And I see this come out uh, near my, in my kitchen window. I have like a tart burn in the corner. I see this come out. And I was like, what? Wait a minute, what is that? It was a huge spider. Now it wasn't a wool spider. I know what a wool spider looks like. It wasn't quite that big, but it was big. It was like one of those spiders that will send you to the hospital if it gives you a bite. So I was like, oh no. I, now listen, normally I love spiders. It makes my kids so mad because there will be a spider every spring and summer out here by on my patio by the light builds a beautiful intricate web and i just i'm so fascinated with I, I just i love to watch them so that's just me i'm weird so this spider this spider was a whole different ball game so here i am i'm getting ready to wash tongs i've got my tongs i'm trying to catch this spider this spider's smart i zig he zags i go left he goes right this spider the spider was smart. Just finally, finally I got him. Normally I would take him outside, send him on his way, but this spider was a game changer. And I kind of, when I got him with the tongs, I kind of, I kind of did him in. So no spider bites in my future. Hopefully there's no eggs. Oh, I don't even think about it. Oh, wait. So anyway, I'll be back and let you see this casserole. Hopefully there's no more spiders seeking revenge on me. So, um, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll be back. All right, friends, we're back. Casserole is done. 375 for about 20 minutes in the toaster oven. There it is. Let's give it a scoop out of here. Let's give it a taste. Quick, easy, Tex-Mex casserole. Let's try to get a bite here without... Mmm. Got that sweet cornbread with that enchilada sauce and then that creamy sour cream. Ooh, we what a combo. Now listen, you can serve this with more sour cream, more salsa, lettuce, tomato, black olives, whatever you want to do. It's your food. Once again, thanks for stopping by in my little country kitchen. I hope you're having a fantastic Saturday. And I'll see you um, next couple of days in my PJs. We'll whip up something great together. Bye, friends. Oh, making a mess.